What's up guys, Velocity from Pitchfork Academy here, back with another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to pixelate any texture that you may have in your project in just a couple steps directly inside of Unreal Engine. So you'll never have to leave the program, and you can totally change the art style of your project in just a few clicks. I'll be showing you how to perform this action in bulk if you'd like to do it for every texture in your project, or you can of course just do it for a few. Maybe you want only your characters to look pixelated. But just before we get started, I wanted to give a friendly reminder that my Patreon, Velocities Vault, is a great way to support me and get direct access to download all of my material and graphic tutorial project files. I also have an ultimate tier available if you'd like a little bit more guidance on the art style of your project, maybe your material setups, or really anything graphics related. Now let's get into the tutorial. All right guys, here I am inside of Unreal Engine 5.7. However, this pixelating texture method will work with any version of Unreal Engine, so don't worry about that. Uh, and I don't really have any textures to do the effect on yet, so you might have already a ton of textures in your project for your characters, maybe your environment, your props. And you can definitely do this on all of your textures in bulk. Uh, but really quickly, I'm just going to go over to Fab. So I'll go to Window and Fab. And I already searched for this texture here, but let me just go back and show you my method for finding textures. So I'll search maybe a, a texture that I want to find. And then at the end, I'll put Quixel. That way it just pulls up all of the Quixel Megascan textures that are really high quality from Epic Games directly. And then I'll filter the price by free. And then I'll just choose the second one. I think this looks pretty nice. And then just go ahead and select the quality you want. Uh, I might just do low because we're going to be lowering the quality anyway. And that just makes more sense. Less uh, size that it's taking up in your project. It'll download it and take you directly to the textures, which is nice. And let's say you had a ton of textures. Maybe you had all sorts of grass and wood and all the different textures that you would need for a full project. You might have a ton of different folders here inside of surfaces or wherever you got your textures from. And an easy way to do this trick in bulk is just to go to filter. So that's right here under the add node, the little three bars, and then I'll filter by texture. Right away, it pulls up any texture that I had in the surfaces folder. And again, if I had more surfaces, they would all be right here. And then I can just click control A and right click, go to asset actions and then down to edit selection in property matrix. This is a really handy feature. You can edit all sorts of assets, not just textures by doing this. Uh, and the first thing that we want to do is, well, I'll just go ahead and open up one of these textures actually and set it to the side. Um, I think this will still work because I'm editing it here, but you can also edit it here. I just want to sh uh, show the texture as I'm editing it. So here in the three textures that I have, I'm going to search for max for maximum texture size, and I'm gonna set it to 128. As you can see, it made it really small, and if I zoom in, it's all blurry looking. Uh, to fix that, we want to just scroll down until we find the texture group, and then find filter, and change filter from trilinear to nearest. And as you can see, right away, it cleared it all up. It looks nice and sharp and pixelated, just as you would expect in a nice pixelated texture. and uh, this will apply to all of the textures. And of course, you can mess with the size of the uh, pixels. For example, I chose 128. You could do 64, 32, 256. Definitely recommend keeping it a power of two, though, just so Unreal can handle the texture a little bit better. And I'll just go ahead and close that, and then I'll save those three textures. And now I could just drag the um, Material from Megascan. Oh, let me clear this texture really quick. So if I go to surfaces, cobblestone, then find materials. I noticed that this doesn't look right still. So something with the Megascan textures or the Megascan master material isn't right. So I'm just really quickly going to create a material and I'll call it M underscore ground. And then I'll just open this up. You shouldn't have to do this if you already have materials. I just think there's something in the Megascan material that's a little off. Um, so you might have your own materials already. Um, but we just want to find our textures and just control A, drag them in here. And I'm just going to quickly wire these up without going too in depth. We got base color, our normal, whoops. And then our ambient occlusion in the red channel, roughness in the green channel, and metallic in the blue channel. And this preview looks good, so that's a good sign. Just go ahead and save that. And now let's drag that material on the ground. So, boom. Nice and sharp and pixelated. 
And what I really like about it is that it works super well with the normal maps and the roughness. So as you can see, we get the nice self-shadowing here in the crevices. And as you can see, this um, would definitely work really well with all sorts of textures, and especially if you keep them the same size. So if you, you, know, you choose 128 for the cobblestone texture, you probably want to use that same size for everything else. And just uh, to show, I also did that same effect to the uh, Quinn mannequin here, as you can see. She's nice and pixelated, and that looks pretty cool. Um, one thing I also did, and this is another little tip, is if you're doing uh, pixelated characters, maybe even using metahumans, uh, the shape or the model itself might still be too realistic. So what you can do is go into characters, find your character model. So I'll find the uh, Quinn simple. And then what I did here is I just went down to find the reduction settings inside LOD zero, and it's on one by default. So I can just show how that looks. And so, yeah, it's nice and smooth. There's a, um, 87,000 triangles here, but if you lower it quite a bit, so 0 0.05 would be 5% of the triangles. And now we have the sort of blocky PS1 low poly style character. So it's just a little trick, you know, if you want to um, take the characters you already have and make them look even more stylized. That's another trick that works pretty well with the pixelated textures. Go ahead and just save that, go back. And let's just go ahead and walk over our texture. Yeah, I'm really liking this look. I could imagine a whole world with this sort of pixelated style. All right, guys, that is how to pixelate any texture in just a couple of steps inside of Unreal Engine 5 to easily make your project look more retro while also increasing performance by lowering that texture resolution overall. If you guys enjoyed the video at all, it'd mean a lot to us if you left a like and subscribe to our channel as it lets us know that you want to see more videos like this one. This has been Velocity with Pitchfork Academy, and I'll see you in the next one.